Good afternoon. The attack in Salisbury was the first use of a nerve agent on NATO territory. On March the 14th of uh, the 14th of March, NATO allies made clear their deep concern and condemnation of this reckless breach of international norms. Since then, intensive consultations have taken place among allies, including here at NATO and in capitals. Those consultations have resulted so far in the expulsion of uh, over 140 Russian officials by over 25 NATO allies and uh, partners. This is a broad, strong and coordinated international response. And as part of that response, NATO is unified in taking further steps. I have today withdrawn the accreditation of seven staff at the Russian mission to NATO. I will also deny the pending accreditation request for three others. And the North Atlantic Council has reduced the maximum size of the Russian mission to NATO by 10 people in line with my decision. This will bring the maximum size down to 20. This sends a clear message to Russia that there are costs and consequences for its unacceptable and dangerous pattern of behavior. And it follows Russia's lack of constructive response to what happened in Salisbury. Our actions reflect the serious security concerns expressed by all allies and are part of the coordinated international effort to respond to Russia's behavior. They are proportionate and in line with our legal obligations. Today's decision does not change NATO's policy towards Russia. NATO remains committed to our dual-track approach of strong defense and openness to dialogue, including by working to prepare the next meeting of the NATO-Russia Council.